Welcome to the MF Show episode five. The MF Show. Kitchen fires have surged across the country due to more people cooking at home. Although loose clothing was the first item ignited in only 1% of these fires, it accounts for 16% of total kitchen fire deaths, which is why I always cook naked. <laughs> Just kidding. Obviously, I wear socks. Here to teach us how to cook safely is our expert chef, Walla. Hello, welcome to Cooking with Walla. Today we're going to be making chicken parmesan. If you're new to the kitchen or have never cooked before, that's okay. Me too. All right, let's get started. Step one, gather all your ingredients. Chicken breast, butter, mozzarella cheese, marinella sauce, <laughs> breadcrumbs, parmesan, and spaghetti. Step two, get a bottle of wine. Dinner's ready for you. Don't forget to wash your dishes though, okay? Ooh, thanks Walla. I am stuffed on knowledge. Did you ever wonder what it would be like to have a Canadian superhero? Well, turns out there was one. Check out these deleted scenes from a major blockbuster movie. Where's your gun? I'm coming, buds. Hang in there. Ooh, sorry I'm late, folks. Captain Canada here. Line up at Timmy's was packed, eh? Been a while. It's gonna be good to have you, buddy. So, who are we fighting to? Ooh, boys. Did you uh, ever notice that it's looking a little bright in here? Mm, no, not really. And by that, I mean there's more white dudes than a monster truck invention. <laughs> Except for you, Mom. And, uh, hey, I apologize about Dr. Appropriation over there, eh? That's, uh, not cool. Well, you know what they say. If you're not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. So I think I'm going to head back to the ODR. And sit this one out, boys. And, uh, hopefully next time we can see a little bit more inclusion in the Super Buds, huh? And you call Captain Canada, he'll be here. Okay. And here with the new news is my favorite roommate, Alex Crenian. Alex? I'm Alex Crenian, and this is the new news. I'm only winking because I assume that you've watched the news and that you're aware of what's going on in the world. And so this is like not really the news, but it's just like a little thing that I do. New news. Yeah. Regardless of where you live, most grocery stores are making it mandatory to wear face masks or face coverings when grocery shopping. And if they want me to wear a mask, then of course I'm gonna wear a mask. Everyone knows you don't where you eat. It's important to know you can make a no-sew mask yourself with materials that you have at home, like an old shirt, string, shoelaces, hair elastics, I don't know, cloth. So here's my tutorial how not to be an asshole when grocery shopping. Hi everyone! I have a handkerchief, two hair elastics. Stop showing people your butthole. Thank you. God damn it, I love her. We divide it into three parts. One, then we fold it over again. That's my three-parter. Good. Take your hair elastic. Put this. On you. Very complicated. Just kidding. Take the other one. Because you know I wash these hair elastics because hair elastics are actually really dirty. Or candy Fold it in. I oh, love you so much! Mwah. So it looks like this right now. So I take this side and I fit it into this little pouch Hi. that accidentally happened. There you go. There's your mask. Wash your mask after every use. It's a great look. See? It's a good look. We like the mask. A mermaid. Oh, it hurts. I'm stretching around. Oh, that's not cute. Thank you. There you have it. That's how to make a no sew mask. Special shout out to my cat, who obviously is a Leo. New news. Yeah. Thanks, Alex. And a quick tip from me, don't use your underwear to make a mask. It's a mistake. It happened to a friend of mine. 
And that's our show. Thanks again for watching, and make sure you check out my YouTube channel, The MF Show. And as always, if you liked it, tag someone below who you think might like it. And if you thought it was garbage, tag someone who you think is garbage. They'll never know the difference. The MF Show.